did it stop raining just right around the time the dogs <laughs> I have no idea, to be honest. Uh, I know it was raining when I went out there, it raining off the field, so that's all I know. Um, but yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> You've been in these situations a million times, obviously, you know, lining up for these type of kicks. What goes through your mind? What do you do? How do you get your... Um, you kind of try to treat it. Every kick is the is the same. That's how I'm trying to kind of try to do it. So, um, you know, we had a good day going, good pun, uh, what three extra points, field goal already. So it was, you know, we felt like in a pretty good rhythm. So I just go out there and put it through. That mindset, that rhythm. How much has your experience in this league played a factor in that? Um, yeah. I mean, obviously, playing for 16 years is a, you know. There's a lot you can lean on and learn from, so um, I think you can take everything, every kick. I've learned something from, good or bad. Um, so I just try to, to take the good and, and, and move on and, and learn from the bad. Being able to get that game-winning kick, that feeling afterwards, how do you do, describe that? No, it's, it's always good to get a win. Um, and I think, you know, defense held on in overtime. Offense had a great run. Uh, moved the ball when needed to and got us in range. So it was a, you know, a total team effort. It wasn't just me. I, I just say I get to put the cherry on top. So, um, you know, they, they, the team did a great job today. Um, everyone, coaches, players. So, um, hats off to the entire locker room. You say a cherry on top. But last week, 15 points from you. Again, the game-winning field goal today. Is this as good as a start with this team as you could hope for? Yeah. I mean, any time you can kind of help the team stay in games and win games is um, it's a good start. And hopefully, we can keep it going. Um, you know, we talked to Morgan after and. We, 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 we enjoy the game winners, but at the same time, you know, we like the blowouts too, so we can, you know, have a good time and, and, and get the win. I think the most important thing is just getting the win. We have to do it, and today was a, you know, full team effort to do it. Like, did you notice him being different or not? No, I mean, honestly, he was just steady Eddie, you know what I'm saying? I don't think that a uh, guy that's been the lead that long really doesn't get flushed from one week to the next. And um, like I said, I t just talked to him throughout the week, just kind of expecting, just looking at him like, He's going to have a bounce that game. I wasn't expecting that something to be, or the game that he had last week, the snowball, until, you know, constant bad games or anything like that. First impression that you guys gave last week wasn't very good. Right. How much is is this game, you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like I said, it's great to get a win. I mean, obviously, we're still a work in progress. We're still trying to improve. We still have a lot of things that we can get better at. Uh, but it's always better to correct those things when you get a win. Uh, and overtime against a really good ball club, uh, like I said, it's a big win for us. You feel confident, though, that this is more what you are than last week? Yeah, I mean, I think even last week, we, back, I mean, we lost by one point. Obviously, this game, one by field goal. Uh, since I've been here, we're usually in close games. It's not always going to be blowouts and things like that. So, uh, honestly, it just feels good to get a win since, I think, November. So Fight for each other. You know, no matter what, defense going to field, offense get a turnover. It's okay. You know, we went for it early in the game. We went on the field. We got made them kick a field goal in that situation. So, you know, it's just how can we, um, you know, it's, we call it sudden change. And um, that's our goal each and every game, you know, to work together, special team, offensive, defense. And, you know, today showed that we play, played as one. You know, it wasn't pretty, but at the end of the day, we um, played as one and got a win. You said that earlier in the week that, hey, it's time to win a game. How, how good is it? Dang, right. It feel, it feel wonderful, man. We haven't we go, look, go back on it, man. We haven't won a game since the Packers, man. And t today, just it's, it's amazing, man. Like I said, hell of a job, um, you know, to the offense, you know, and then our granddaddy on the team, Nick, man, going down to make the field goal. So, you know, I told Tanny, man, you're our quarterback, man. I believe in you. We got your back. That's a hell of a job to go down there, um, you know, get a drive, get a um, field goal at the end. Yeah, so you know, what can you say about his bounce back? I mean, just, you know, he, he loved the game of football, you know, and no one perfect, you know. Um, at the end of the day, like I said, we have his back. The defense got to do a better job each and every game to put him in position, you know, to um, – you know, get touchdowns or whatever it may be, points. You know, but you know, he's a leader. You know, we expect him in our locker room. So, uh, like I said, props to him um, bouncing back this week. I mean, it's always fun to score touchdowns. That's why you know why we play football, why we play receiver. Uh, and Ryan gave a good ball, and it was just it was big. You know, we needed this win. Um, it was a great play call, great scheme. Uh, you know, just all the preparation through practice has showed in that play. When it starts raining and Mike sends out Nick there for that field goal attempt, mm -hmm. uh, are you worried at all the way it was just like yeah. coming down? No, I thought it was just ironic. <laughs> it just started raining right when the field goal team ran out. But I don't know if you noticed that it stopped for like five seconds during the kick. It was like right right before the ball was snapped, it, it stopped raining. So had no had no doubt in my mind that Nick was going to make that. You know, he's been a pro ever since he came in. i um, been automatic, so I love seeing it. Perfect timing for a team that had not won in literally eight straight months. 
Yeah, I mean, we needed to win big. Uh, it's a new season, obviously. And, you know, we're one and one, trying to go two and one. Um, but for the guys that were here last year, that was big. How, how big was it also that everybody contributed today? It seemed like everybody in the skill positions made big plays for the offense. Yeah, it was great. Um, you know, everybody got a little bit, of, got a taste, got, got to be able to get the touch on the ball. Um, and I think that's that's kind of what we're trying to do. You know, we want to try to be able to use everybody, uh, use the best, the strengths of everybody, you know, to our advantage, and it showed it up. Teresa kind of mentioned it, just the fact that, you know, you guys were able to come back, get the win, get to one and one as opposed to 0-2 and, and break that losing streak. Mm-hmm. I mean, what's it say about the character of this team? Yeah, it's huge. You know, these guys, everybody in here has been working, trying to get this win. Um, all throughout camp, all throughout OTAs, we had a sour taste in our mouth. Um, after last week, obviously, you know, they were disappointed. So it's just good to, to get this, and the biggest thing is to, to grab a hold of it and, and keep this momentum. Ryan's taking an awful lot of Is 100% back? Or we... um, I would just say I'm just going to keep getting better and better each week. But speed-wise, it showed today. <laughs> Just talk about the defense and then giving you a chance there at the end as well. Yeah, they played a big role in that. Um, you know, they went out there and played their butts off and were able to get them uh, get out, get off the field on third down. And, uh, you know, we were able to kick a field goal and win the game. And so, the, you know, that's really important. Sorry if you've got to ask this early, but, you know, oh, yeah, your long pass obviously kind of got the offense going a little bit. How important was that to make that play at that particular time? Um, it was very important. You know, I was just out there. My name got called. You know, I went up and made a play. Diop was saying how like, everybody contributed today, yourself, himself, Chig, Chris Moore. I mean, how, how big is that? Is that what you guys expect going forward where everybody can eat and make plays? Yeah, uh, you know, it's, this is, goes back to what I say. When your name's called, you make a play. Um, and not ever just sit back and pout or anything about not getting the ball or something. So you just go out there and have fun. And, what's, this uh, win, sorry about that. What, what's this win say about the character of this team? Obviously, you know, eight-game losing streak and you know, don't want to obviously start 0-2. You know, we put the put the pass in the pass and just move and keep building on building on this. What's that say about the character of this team? Oh man, we just resilience. Like obviously in a football game it's gonna be highs, lows, you know, all week. We can talk about the offense, talk about whatever, you know, defense not getting that last stop last week. And you know, just the message that I always kept saying was whether we won or lost that first game, we got twenty four hours. We just won this game, we're gonna enjoy it. Tomorrow at 3 o'clock, it's on to the next. And I think we play the Browns next week, and we go on the road, and we got to be ready for them. Like Each week is a new week, and it presents new challenges. You know, and So the way you lost or won the week before might be the thing that shows up the next week. It could be something completely different. And uh, you just got to be ready for everything. And I think it's just a true testament to the work that we put in all in the offseason and truly just sticking together and ignoring the noise. And you know, I'm just I'm so proud of this team. So. That final drive, I mean, you guys were able to keep him out of the end zone and, you know, make him kick a field goal so you have a chance in overtime. How big was that? It was huge. You know, Harold coming up with the sack. Me and Harold have been talking really since um, I got here, but, you know, the last couple of weeks, you know, trying to find a rhythm. This is obviously the first time playing football in over a year. Uh, so just for him to make that play was huge for everybody, you know, the whole day. You know, at front seven, on you know, the back end, just playing complimentary football with the offense and special teams. Um, you know, just like I said, proud of everybody. You mentioned a complimentary football. It seems like whenever the defense needed to make a play, you guys were able to make it. Yeah. Whenever the offense was able to, needed to make a play, they were able to do it. Not really the case last week. Yeah. How good was that? I mean, like I said, each week is going to present new challenges. Um, you got to learn from whatever happened the week before and, and flush it down the drain and, and keep going. And that's exactly what we all did as a group, um, offense, defense, special teams. And you've seen it happen today. You know, And obviously now it's going to be great because everybody's going to be like, oh, yeah, the Titans look good now. And, <laughs> da, da, da. and everything that everybody wrote trash is going to be good. And then you, you can't, like, either way, I can't rely on what you all say about me to dictate how, I, how we feel. Um, we just got to keep staying true to who we are, staying true to what we talk about in our fundamentals as a team and keep going.